Hello everyone, I'm Arkansas Storm Team Meteorologist Alex Libby, and in this weather blog, we are talking about the Great American Eclipse. It is only one month away. 31 days separate us between an amazing solar event. The moon is going to slide in front of the sun, blocking it out for a good amount of time here in Arkansas. You can see the path of totality stretches from Mexico all the way up in Canada, splitting Arkansas right in half. And let me remind you, with a solar eclipse, if you're not in the path of totality, you're not going to really see that much. The sun will get a little bit dim, but it really won't be that much of a difference of a day. So if you want to experience this, which I highly suggest you do, I've never seen one, but I've heard it's amazing, go to the path of totality. That includes Texarkana, Mena, Arkadelphia, Hot Springs, Little Rock, Russellville, Clinton, Harrison, Mountain Home, Batesville, Jonesboro, Fort Smith, you're just outside the path of totality. Pine Bluff, you're not in the path of totality. So take that little drive west or drive east to the path of totality to see this amazing solar eclipse. The shadow of the moon will start in southwest Arkansas around 1.45 in the afternoon on April 8th and go at a speed of 1,800 miles per hour across the state, exiting northeast Arkansas, at two o'clock in the afternoon so it's only going to be over the state for a total of 15 minutes but we will see a good amount of time in totality especially if you're in the middle of the path of totality so here in little rock we'll see about two minutes of totality that's when the moon is completely blocking out the sun but if you go towards the center of the path three minutes arkadelphia hot springs four minutes in clinton and russellville in hot springs village mina you're in the four minute area so if you want to see even a longer time of totality travel even more so in the middle of the path four minutes for a big part of arkansas but the big thing is we won't see anything if there is cloud cover so that's going to be a huge forecast and being 31 days although that is pretty close it's still too far away for any accurate forecast so let's go look at the climate data climatologically speaking how often do we have a cloudy day in early april well here in arkansas about a coin flip 50 percent chance of it being a cloudy day versus not a cloudy day which isn't great but it's also better than places in the great lakes in the northeast if you really want to for sure see this eclipse there's only about a 20 percent chance of a cloudy day in the desert which makes sense in new mexico and the desert southwest part of texas if you zoom into arkansas there is a small area that is under a 40% chance of cloud cover. Again, this is all climate data, so anything is really possible. We'll have a much better idea of how much clouds we'll see about 10 days out. So end of March, last few days of March, we might have a pretty good idea on the forecast. Either way, get excited. Only 31 days separates us in the total solar eclipse.